My name is Folly Thompson and I am a school counselor at Gardner Middle School in the Oregon City School District, um, previously at King Elementary School in Oregon City School District before it was closed by budget cuts two years ago. Um, we have seen a dramatic reduction in our counseling or school counseling staff in Oregon City in the last five years, which is just now starting to increase. But uh, some of the effects that we've seen at the elementary and then rolling over to the middle school level have been um, a huge increase in behavior problems in terms of referrals. Um, we've seen a lot of self-harm, uh, suicidal ideation increase at the middle school. We've had more children referred out to outside um, clinical agencies than I've ever seen um, before. We've got students continually coming in and seeking help for uh, daily concerns about bullying, self-esteem, um, self-harm is very highly up there and counselors don't have the time anymore to be putting um, their due diligence into those efforts along with everything else that is kind of put on our plate. So we're seeing a very dramatic increase in behaviors that we're not able to meet. I'm Melissa Corwin. I am a high school counselor at Oregon City High School in the same district. And uh, at the high school level, we're seeing the dramatic effects of reduced elementary counselors as well. Uh, in elementary, you know, they learn basic skills on how to cope with difficult situations and if they haven't had that support at home um, and they miss that in school, they're going to get to high school and come across um, things that could be simple for other students um, but become huge hurdles um, for them at the high school level. And, um, you know, we've seen, uh, same at the middle school level, increases in suicide attempts, um, self-harm. Um, skipping school, uh, just lack of motivation and wanting to be at school. And so really early on, school counselors have a big impact on kids and uh, to help them be successful later on.